Millions of Americans struggle with hunger every day. As News Channel 18's Alex Dyro discovered, though, it's not just keeping the cabinet stock that many struggle with. Often, the most difficult part is simply asking for help. Alex? Jeff, that's right. It may be surprising statistics to learn, but according to numbers from Feeding America, 17% of people in our area lack proper access or means to get the food needed to be fully nutritionally fulfilled. That's over 96,000 people in our viewing area. And for that group of people, the choice often lies between stocking the pantry and keeping a roof over their head. We spoke with one woman who found herself in that very spot. This is her story. On a cold morning in January, Nikki Needham Price makes her way through the line of a food finder's whistle stop, a small mobile pantry often set up in church parking lots. For someone who's worked all her life, it's a strange reversal of roles. Um, I also was social worker at the Salvation Army, which I enjoyed very much. And I also, uh, one of my jobs there was to make sure that we had plenty of food in our uh, food pantry. Like most working people, she never saw herself in this situation. She'd always played by the rules, earning a degree, starting a family, working as a social worker. But things didn't go quite as planned once she was hit with a debilitating illness. I, uh, I started just not feeling well. Um, nothing that the doctors could find, nothing that I could pinpoint myself. Several years later, I was diagnosed with fibromyalgia. I worked as long as I could with it, but there came a day when the doctor said, it's either your physical health or your mental health. <laughs> After leaving work to deal with her illness, making ends meet became more and more difficult. And the day came when she was forced to ask for help. I had to go on food stamps. When you are a, a proud person, it's, it's very humbling. It's a humbling experience, she says she's grown accustomed to now. At times, she says it's still hard. The most difficult part can be a simple trip to the grocery store and getting past the looks when the next customer in line sees her pulling out a food stamp card. But Needham Price says swallowing that pride and asking for help was one of the most difficult parts of her new situation. Pride is a funny thing. It can be a good thing, but uh, when you need to uh, go to a food pantry or go to an agency for assistance and you're standing in this big long line and <laughs> you're praying that no one knows you who's driving by uh, you have to tell your pride okay this is this is real this is what's going on in my life right now but reaching out is really what's kept Nikki Needham Price alive and as more and more people find themselves in similar situations, it's asking for the help that could be the difference between struggling and surviving. But you have to reach out. Nobody's going to come knocking on the door to help you. You know, you swallow that pride and you pick up the phone and you make that first phone call. If you find yourself in the same situation as Needham Price, there are resources available in the community. To see a list, head to our website, WLFI.com. A group of dedicated volunteers keep many in our area free from hunger. Tomorrow on News Channel 18 at 6, we'll introduce you to this group of men and women and share the stories of those coping with hunger through their eyes. Alex Dyro, News Channel 18.